Noon, the tension continues to rise in the Middle East after Iran's state TV reports that there were two explosions in the city of Kerman. It comes as Israel is being blamed for killing one of Hamas's top leaders, Hezbollah, and the IDF have also been fighting nonstop since the war in Gaza started as well, ramping up fears of a much larger regional war now. Here's ABC's Zareen Shaw following the tension from Los Angeles. Tensions are heating up in the Middle East after two explosions in the Irani city of Kerman. The victims attending a memorial for top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani killed in a U.S. airstrike four years ago today. More than 100 people killed in today's blasts. No one has claimed responsibility. I don't have any great detail on who was responsible, but can you rule out that Israel had anything to do with this? We have no indication at this time at all that Israel was involved in any way whatsoever. The bombings in Iran coming one day after a top Hamas leader was killed in an explosion in Lebanon. Lebanese officials say an Israeli drone strike targeted Saleh al al rui Hamas's deputy commander. Israel has not said if they're responsible for entering and bombing a country that they are not at war with. Israel has not taken responsibility. And whoever did this, it's not an attack on the Lebanese state. It's not an attack on the Hezbollah terrorist organization. Whoever did this, it's an attack on Hamas. That's very clear. But it's not clear to everyone. Since October 7th, the IDF and Hezbollah soldiers have repeatedly exchanged fire near the Israeli and Lebanese border. Hezbollah is often seen as supporting Hamas, but far more powerful. The U.S. saying it will continue to help Israel in the war and also with humanitarian assistance to civilians in Gaza, plus trying to protect commerce in the Red Sea, which has also come under attack from another terrorist group, Houthi rebels. And in another sign of U.S. involvement, Secretary of State Blinken will travel to the region again tomorrow. Meanwhile, over 22,000 people are dead in Gaza. A few hours ago, a strike left three people dead and multiple injured. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. Nobody has claimed responsibility for the two blasts in Iran that killed dozens and injured over 200 more. Iran's leaders have vowed to punish whoever is responsible.